It was 4 BC when Christ was born in Bethlehem. It was, it was also 4 BC when Herod the Great died. A little later, before his death, he wanted to kill all male Hebrew babies. Herod was the greatest builder of his time. This is one of his palaces on Masada. There's another one here. This is called the Northern Palace. Right across the Dead Sea, we visited Mukavir, where he also built a fortress. He had many fortresses. But by the way, there's only one fortress, and that's Jesus Christ. That's the only safety. So Jesus says in Matthew 24, read the book of Daniel. And he warned against the abomination that makes desolate. And he says, when you see the army surround Jerusalem, this is the sign to flee. So in 66, Cestius Chalus, the Roman general came to Jerusalem, besieged the city, broke the wall, the outer wall, and all the zealots, the far rights, the Sakari, the zealots, fled into the temple complex. And then something strange happened. We don't know what happened, but uh, he went back to his base in Antioch. And all the Jewish soldiers followed him and they killed 6,000 of his troops. And this was the sign Christ said, you've got to pray for. When you see this happens, this is the time to flee. So they fled across the Jordan to a place called Pella, 66 AD. And then, Jerusalem was freed from Christians. But the Jews were so hardened, and the Romans came back in 70 AD under the authorship of Titus. And according to Josephus, the man who gave inf info concerning this place, they killed more than a million Jews. After the destruction of Jerusalem, they destroyed the Herodion, and then they destroyed the Essenes, Qumran, and then they came here. This was the last resistance. And of course, you know the story. Uh, they are regarded as heroes by some. But the sad story is they rejected the Messiah. And once you reject the Messiah, you reject life. So this is where they committed suicide, Josephus tells us. The two women and three children escaped the suicidal uh, ordeal, and they told him the story. Now today they say Masada will never fall again, but Masada will fall again. There's another Masada, my relationship with Christ, that can never fall. So that should be my concentration, that should be my focus. And when we, when we go up to the other side of Masada, we are going to look at the ramp which was built by the Romans. They decided that Masada would fall and they succeeded in their endeavors. Uh, this is where I have to end the story. Behind us is the ramp. The Romans decided that they would conquer Masada. The zealot said, you will never conquer it. So they built this ramp and what the Jews did, they took huge missile stones and they threw it onto the, uh, onto the Romans. And then they used Jewish slaves to build the ramp. So Jews wouldn't kill Jews. So eventually the ramp came up right to here. The next day, the Romans would have captured the place. And then Ben Yair said to them, let's commit suicide. And when the Romans walked up here, they saw almost a thousand people who killed themselves. This is the sad fate of rejecting the gospel. You destroy yourself.